And here, here's a question for you. Um, less from the political statements, more from just the behavior and habits. Have you ever noticed that the people who sometimes feel like they have to quit Facebook, again, these are not people who are making a political screw Zuckerberg statement, but they just needed to walk away from social media. Have you ever noticed that in many cases, social media really is not the problem because if you know those people well enough in other aspects of their life, they sometimes have to quit other stuff as well. What I mean by that is their inability to compartmentalize. You know, like when some people are just like, you know, it's taking over my life, I'm doing too much. Is that Facebook or is that really their personality that they sometimes, you know, I guess if you overshare and then you overshare and you overshare and then everything's coming back at you, is that really Facebook's fault or is that more, a, there's a character flaw there. I, I, I don't want to beat up people, but am I right? Is 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 it, what do you think? I, am, am I, did I go down a rabbit hole? But what am I, what I'm saying is, I think that a lot of the problems that people attribute to Facebook have more to do with that user and how they actually use Facebook is what I'm saying. I think you're wrong. You sounded very like, uh, get off my law dish really quick. <laughs> Just that up for that. <laughs> the only reason I say you're wrong is this. You weren't born into it, right? So a 10 year old now, has an entire his friends are based off social media and and they have less friends in real life so deleting it or i i need to get away from it this idea is that because they're so attached to it and and part of it is like there's schools who use facebook groups as like tutoring and stuff like that like these kids have built an online world and the the real question is like is it is that healthy right because it's on some level reality but some level they kind of they 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 paint an image online that's not accurate to real life. So these kids have entire kind of databases that they need in order to kind of survive socially, if that makes sense. So I don't want to I don't want to completely say that you're wrong, but but look, I, I'll give you a good example. Two years or, or right after George Floyd, I just I woke up one day and said I need to delete Facebook and Instagram, and I I just took a little bit of a break and I just I I reapplied and I started basically new ones because I I found the good in it, but there was a moment there where it was just like, I can't do this anymore. And it's not that I was addicted and not that, that I needed it. I needed to prove that I wasn't to myself. And I needed to just wake up and be like, this isn't real life. And I deleted it and I walked away and I just got it back. So I'm not a delete your Facebook and run away type of guy, but I, I understand the need to be like, to distinguish the fact that this isn't real life when the fact that these young people on some level, it is real life. 